Hello everyone and welcome to our new workshop in the series Software Testing and Automation. Uh, I'm Amal Khiri, a full stack developer in Jubix. So let's start by giving you a brief um, introduction about uh, GTLRA. Uh, so welcome to our rebrand of the Global Tech Sprint Leadership Program. Uh, our mission here is to provide this service for internationally, uh, both within and outside schools and universities to drive innovation, shared knowledge, and facilitate cross-border leadership, thus paving the way for a brighter, more interconnected future. So what's the GTLA? GTLRA leads with transparency and uh, shared learning to provide the world with a di di diversified sorry, uh, recruitment agency that advocates inclusive change across all markets to shared financial equity across platforms. And now uh, let's don't wait and uh, start with our uh, first speaker. Up to you, uh, Kainas. Your mic is mute. Can't hear you, kindness. Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. My name is Kainez Okuje. I'm a full stack software engineer from Nigeria, currently working at a quality assurance team at Jubit. I and my two amazing teammates, Musa and Diaz, will be your host for today. Today, we are going to learn about software testing, ways of software testing the importance and use cases of, for software testing, and also the frameworks and tools that can be used for, the, for delivering software testing on an application. And at the end of today's workshop, I'm going to have a dive into real-world scenarios to see how software testing can be done to an application or a program so that will make this today's workshop interesting, presentable, and understanding to you, our fellow peers. To begin our workshop today, I would like us to discuss about the definition of our topic, which is software testing. Software testing can be defined as a systematic practice of evaluating a software application to identify any bug, errors, or defects in the functionality of that application. You can also say that software testing is a quality assurance mechanism ensuring that the software meets specific requirements and criteria without any errors. And finally, in a simple man's form, we can say that software testing can be defined as any activities to reduce the likelihood of a software failure and unexpected behavior in production of an application. So these are the numerous definitions that we have of software testing. Whatever cases you have is right and you are right by it. So now we'll define the meaning of software testing. Now I would like us to move forward to the importance of software testing. The first and main importance of software testing is the identification of bugs in a software or program. Software testing helps us to eliminate bugs and defects early in the development stage of an application before they reach production. So this is one of the main important and purpose of testing a software or application. We are trying to catch bugs in the process. Yes, that is the first important. Another important is the quality improvement. Software testing ensures the quality of a software. It also helps us in higher customer satisfaction and also reduce the maintenance cost over the software life cycle. So with software testing, I'm making sure the quality of that software is being improved. And we are testing it in different scenarios to make sure it serves the end users. Another importance of software testing is the risk management of the software. Testing helps to identify potential issues before the software is deployed to production. Thus, reducing the chances of system failures and unexpected behavior in that software. And we can see that when we regularly touch the software, we can be confident 
in that software or program that we have because we test different cases of scenarios and we are sure that yes this software is not going to fail on that unexpected load of behavior another importance of software testing is the compliance and standard of the industry Software testing helps to ensure that the software complies with the industry standards, regulation, and specification for the marketplace that the software is on. So these are the numerous importance that software testing we have on your application, personally and also as an organization. So now we've discussed about the importance of software testing. I would like us to discuss about the use cases of software testing. What are the scenarios that will allow us or would create a scenario that will bring out software testing for our application? One of the scenarios for software testing is where we want to identify or fix bugs in a software. If you are trying to identify bugs, you are saying that there's a little error in your application, maybe the response time of a button is quite slow. Software testing helps you to discover where the bug is coming from in your software. Another use case of software testing is when we want to enhance our application functionality and performance. Maybe our application is quite slow or we don't really understand the data flow of the application. We can use software testing to detect and identify it. Another importance of software testing is when we want to determine the performance or responsiveness of our software. We can use software testing in that scenario to test it out. Another popular scenario is when we want to check out the security of our application. When we want to identify vulnerabilities and also security loopholes in the software to protect this from cyber threats. We can use software tests to test different security scenarios to make sure application is safe and also giving us a good name in the public. Another most popular use cases of software testing is when we want to test the load or performance of our software on our unexpected or peak load time. Have you seen a go to an application whereby and because of maybe a streaming application and because of the number of users? You will see a server error in downtime. With software testing, it can help us to verify the load of our software and also how we can go about resolving that issue. So these are the numerous scenarios for software testing, the numerous scenarios and cases for software testing. So for the, for our guys at the back who just joined, we will discuss about the definition of software testing. We discussed about the importance of software testing, and we also discussed about the use cases for software testing. For those who don't remember, software testing can be defined as a systematic process of evaluating a software application to identify any bug, error in, in the functionality of that application. So that is the definition of software testing. The most popular and vital importance of software testing is because it helps us to identify bugs in our software. So now we now have a full view and also we can only fully remember the definition and importance of software testing. I would like to call on my second host, which goes by the name Musa, to come and discuss about the types of software testing we have. We're going to discuss also about the framework and tools we are going to use for software testing. And most importantly, it's going to talk about how we can go about planning our software testing. Once I have the floor. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, software testing. First of all, my full name is uh, Munsa Mivenge. I'm from Lusaka, Zambia. It's a country located in the southern central part of uh, Africa. Um, so today we're going to talk about the types of software testing. Well, uh, at Jubix, we have uh, three main types of uh, software testing that we do. We have uh, the unit testing, we have the integration testing, and we have the end-to-end -end 
testing as well. So these are not uh, the only types of testing around. Uh, there are many different types of uh, software testing out there. Uh, maybe just to add a few, there's, a, there's a, a type of testing that's called stress testing, which will uh, test uh, uh, an application to see if it can break, uh, especially uh, you can imagine like once you have uh, created a program, like maybe like a, a Facebook application, and now you bring it to market, and now you have uh, maybe uh, a lot of users, maybe let's say 1 million users. Is uh, the program going to work as it's supposed to work? Or is the site going to crash? That's a, that's a kind of test that uh, that's called uh, stress testing. So for the purposes of this presentation, I'm going to just focus on uh, these four kinds of testing that we have here. We have the unit testing, integration testing, end-to-end -end testing, and manual testing. So at Jubix, uh, the, the, the first kind of testing that we do to any application as the Q&A team is to ensure that we add unit tests. Here, we just want to make sure that all the components for applications render and that they are present at runtime. So we have um, uh, just that we use uh, for, for testing, uh, this kind of testing. The second kind of testing that we do is uh, the integration testing. The integration testing is now after we have uh, tested the individual units or the individual components of our application, we want to test to see how these individual uh, units integrate together and work together for the whole good of the application. So how they interact together so that the application works as, as expected. This is where we uh, employ integration testing. Uh, the third kind of testing is end-to-end -end testing. End-to-end -end testing, we also want to test uh, our applications and we want to ensure that uh, even um, um, because we have, uh, currently we have uh, three applications that are in development. So we have uh, the Jumit application, we have uh, the main application, and we also have the game application. And these are supposed to uh, work on one platform. So we are testing uh, to see end-to-end uh, -end how uh, these uh, applications work and also uh, the end-to-end -end, uh, test cases for uh, individual uh, programs as well. Uh, the last kind of testing that we have is the manual testing. The manual testing is uh, an interesting one. So for example, imagine you're given a design for a website and uh, you can see from the website to say it's got these kind of color schemes, it's got uh, the, a certain kind of logo. Here you want to ensure that when the front-end developers create uh, the, the design, that it matches the given UI UX design. And that's what manual testing is all about. So we ensure to see that uh, certain things like uh, the layout of components matches the given design. We also want to uh, test other things such as, uh, for example, for the game, we want to manually test the game. How does the game work? Is, is the game working or functioning as it's supposed to do? So we'll do uh, some manual testing. And so in this scenario, we're just basically taking up the role of the end user and running the application to ensure that the application works as expected and that the user experience is as expected to meet the quality. So these are the kinds of uh, software testing that we have available at Jubix. And uh, I hope uh, you have learned one or two things from this. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, the software testing frameworks that we use now at Jubix. Uh, these are interesting. Uh, we have uh, Jest. Uh, which is a JavaScript uh, testing framework. We have Cypress, which is uh, also uh, a, a JavaScript uh, testing framework, as well as React, which is a React-based uh, uh, testing framework. So we use uh, these three testing frameworks currently at, uh, at Jubix for, for testing to ensure that uh, we're able to implement those unit tests, we're able to implement the integration tests, and we're able to implement the end-to-end -end tests. So for end-to-end -end testing, we use Cypress. For integration testing and for unit testing, we use Jest and we use the React testing library. And then in conclusion, I'm going to talk about the software testing uh, documentation. At Jubix, we have uh, a document that's uh, currently uh, under development as uh, the organization grows and as, uh, as requirements change. So we have this uh, testing document which outlines how we are to test our applications. Of course, uh, this is uh, done through a series of code reviews 
This is also done through a series of uh, 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 temporary deployment of uh, projects uh, to also uh, mock uh, user functionality as well uh, on, on these programs to ensure that uh, the, the, the code is working as it's supposed to work. So uh, software testing documentation outlines everything that uh, we need to do in order for us to be able to test our programs so that we can produce that desired quality that we so much uh, the desire and, 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 and want to see in our applications. Uh, so uh, this is uh, it for me. So to recap what I have spoken about, I've spoken about three things. I've talked about uh, uh, the types of uh, 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 tests that are available, and I've talked about uh, the, uh, the software testing frameworks that we use, and I've also talked about the software testing documentation that we have uh, at Jubix. Uh, this has been my presentation. I'm going to hand over now uh, to my colleague, uh, Yash, who's going to talk about software automation. So, uh, Yash, the floor is yours. Yash, you're muted. Hello, Yash, Yash, you're muted. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <clears throat> uh, mm, welcome, everyone. I'm glad you came here today. Uh, I want to talk about using using the technology to make uh, software testing much faster and better. <clears throat> Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Yash. Uh, I'm a full stack developer from Bangladesh. Uh, I'm here at Jubix. I'm also a part of uh, the QA team, uh, quality assurance team. Hmm. So what is uh, today I'm going to talk about automated testing. So what is automated testing? Now, automated testing uses uh, program to Test, uh, test software rather than manual humans. The computer runs the same check over and over automatically. This save time and effort. So, uh, my in in oh, in on my job, uh, only two testers manually check the website. Yeah, website used by uh, five uh, five thousand people. So much time. Uh, went to repair repetitive things uh, moral moral was uh, moral was low and work uh, work piled up uh, i told them to told them to smart testing tools could help uh, help do repetitive tasks automatically through specific uh, through a spectacle at first they agreed to try and try some automated testing uh, so what was the outcome? We start a small, uh, a small with program to test key website search path and shopping cart testing go dramatically faster from hours to minutes. Feed from uh, dull rechecks tester found career for testers found creative new test finding even more issues uh, issues customer might hit. Uh, every everyone was a happier result result proved automated tested testing tools bring speed and uh, throughness uh, so <clears throat> of course uh, of course uh, changes has some challenges tools and environment may need updated updates first teams require patience and during upfront creation but remind them of a painful cost from only from only manual testing with using today's automation potential a smart uh, start a small deliver something quick to show the benefits and expand 
uh, spun from there. Mm, so, what are the uses of uh, automated testing? Mm, where does automated test help most? Uh, high transition areas uh, areas used constantly through development like complex account registration workflow or API touch various, various system. Those repetitive process often help optimize case through expo exploratory testing still need human insight for new feature and design balance automation and manual efforts. Uh, some uh, uh, what what frameworks we can use for uh, automated testing so there are some there are there are uh, there are some uh, um, frameworks so we can use for automated testing uh, let me tell you something about uh, those uh, uh, for uh, UI and web testing, we can use uh, Selenium. It is a browser automation library. There are text com test complete. It is a end-to-end -end testing across uh, testing tool ac across all of the platform. Uh, for API testing, we have Postman. We have a Karate. It is a open source API automation test framework. We have rest as yet uh, it is a java dsl for simplified api testing for unit testing uh, we have j unit it is a popular java uh, unit auto automated unit test framework we have pi test that a uh, that is a automated test for test framework for python we have n unit that is for dot net it is also a automated tested testing framework and for performance testing we have jmeter uh, jmeter it is a load and performance testing tool uh, gatling it is a scale scalable load testing solution based on scala so there are many many automated tested framework uh, you just have to like uh, choose the best one that fits you oh that is the key so recommendation of success i suggest a few ideas to maximize your automation success first start small start small test that provide value before over engineering uh, value before over engineering over engineering next uh, li next limit any, any duplicate work work between test code and production code also use tool to empower non-programmers to contribute the test scenarios to and all and make sure to measure result over time data makes the case ex case to ex execute it so in conclusion smart testing auto smart testing automation unlocks big productivity gains better coverage and confidence for teams i hope you are excited to drive change in your groups uh, let me know how i can help you to tips and advice for uh, for uh, advance on your automation effort thank you i hand over mic to kindness thank you thank you but Thank you very much, Yash, for that amazing explanation of how automation takes work, the tools for automation test, and also how the importance of automated test. So now we've had a lot of discussion so far, talking about the definition, the importance, how we can go about testing uh, software. Now I would like us to have an in-depth view of our test. I would like us to have a real life scenario, scenario using one of the applications that we've developed at Jubis, which is the Zoom application. I would like us to talk about the chat page. You can scroll up a little bit. Yes, so I'm going to talk about how testing can be carried out on the chat page of the Zoomit application. Yes, so. 
if you look at the chart page of the Jumita application, can you scroll up, Munsa? Okay. Up. Okay, so if you look at the chart page of the Jumita application, scroll down, sorry, down, down. Yes. If we look at the chat page, okay. So in the chat page of the Jubix application, we have numerous components. Numerous components, and you can look at if you look at the chat page of Jubix application, there are numerous components. We have the input field. We have a component that shows the chat box. I scroll down, Musa. After the conclusion page, you can you can show it to the user. Let me see our Jubis chat page. Yes, keep scrolling down. Keep scrolling down. Okay, I guess Musa have not downloaded it. Yes, so I would have loved to show us a scenario of the Jubix chat page about how testing can be carried out, but for now, due to some bug issues, we don't have the chat page ready for us, guys. So, yes, so far, so I would like to talk about the importance of testing the chat page. One of the importance of a chat application is to allow users or clients to talk to each other, to communicate with, to each other seamlessly. And there are numerous test cases and types of unit software tests that can be carried out on that kind of application. One of the most important test cases that we can carry is unit testing. We can split the components into three different parts. We can have a chat page component, we can have an input field component, we can have a button component. Yes, and then we are going to test the flow of data to the entire system or to the entire application of the chat page. So that is it so far. So that is one of the importance of unit testing for a chat application. We test the data flow, we test the integration of multiple components, and also we test the environment of the chat page. So this is one of the importance or scenarios for software testing. So I thank you all for joining our workshop. I would like to hand over to the host to conclude. Amelia, have the floor. Thank you so much, kindness. It was really interesting, as usual, on Jubix workshops. And uh, yeah, testing is very important. You can't work in, on any pro project without testing. Uh, I was uh, asking our wonderful audience uh, if they have any questions about uh, such an important subject. I mean, every developer is interested by software testing and automation. Let's uh, wait a little bit, waiting for uh, the audience questions. And uh, while we are waiting, uh, I would like to uh, ask you a little question if you if you want, okay. Agnes, or Yash. Okay. Okay, so um, why is it important to test software on different browsers and devices? I mean. Okay, so it is important to test the software on different devices because of, we want to test the, responsive, the responsiveness of the software when on multiple devices, because you have different devices like a desktop device, a mobile device, also have tablet device. So, there are numerous tests you can, you can test it because we want to know how they will respond. You know, the responsiveness of the user interface. Also test it for the responsiveness of the data integration, how the data flows depending on the devices. Because on some mobile devices, if you go on some website or application, you see that on your mobile device, you are actually limited. Yes, you are limited to some functionalities of features compared to when you go to the desktop application or to the desktop web app. 
and also for your mobile app, you have to test the speed in different devices. And let's not forget these devices are running on different operating systems, yes. So every, every device with the operating system, so you have to test it in correlation to the operating system to ensure full performance of the application. I don't need to answer that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, much kindness. Uh, so we have a question from um, the audience from Lelai Shalvadel. She's saying, how does software testing contribute to the overall software development life cycle? Oh, software testing is very important and also mm -hmm. contributes massively because it, builds, it has a lot of importance and also it builds the user confidence and also your confidence on the software you're creating. So yes, it is very important because now you are sure that your software is reliable. You've thought about different numerous test cases for your software and you've seen that yes, your software has made the quality standards and the quality criteria you've set in place for your software to exceed and also to become valuable to the users and also to the markets that your software is coming on. Yes, to the markets that you are launching your software. Yes, so it's very important. Great, thank you. I don't know if uh, this answers your questions, Lalaisha. If you have any other questions, please feel free to, to, to write in the chat. Uh, let's have another question. Uh, a simple one, just a basic. So, what's regression testing? Sorry, I didn't get that. Can you hear me? What? Yes, I am hearing you. What's the integration testing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because so, you, you, you talked about uh, unit testing and integration testing and front end testing. Yeah. So unit testing is the testing of individual components. Why integration testing is the testing of joint or coupled components when you join numerous components together that that's when integration company uh, integration testing come in place to test mm -hmm. multiple scenarios of how these different individual components react or behave when they are joined together like a chat page or you can take for example your whatsapp there are different components on your whatsapp chat Chat page, you have the chat box, a component that display message, messages sent. You have an input component where you type your message. I also have a button component that sends your message. Yes, yeah, so the button, what is the button component? You, you test how the button component processes the data from the input component, and then the button component sends the data to the chat comp to the chat box component that renders the message you send. So this is just a scenario of an application of how integration testing works. So now you're not just testing one component, you're testing how these three components work together. Yes, so you're testing how these three components work together to make your application beautiful and also to make your application, application function well. Yes, so that is the importance of integration test. Great, thank you. Uh, we know that um in Jubix, let's say Jubix family, because we are a family, uh, the QA team is doing an amazing job. And I'm just curious, how do you usually um, identify and report a bug when working in Jubix QA? Um, I didn't get that. Come again. How we? I said, how do you identify and report a bug usually when working with the QA team in Jubix? Okay, okay, okay yes. Yeah. So, how we, we have to be direct and sincere with our developers to with our software developers that are working on that particular feature for the application. So if we discover a bug, first thing we have to call the attention and let them know about the bug. And also then we, we have a meeting together and discuss our approach to eliminating the bug. So yes, so we assemble the entire team, let them know about the bug, and then we discuss our approach to eliminating that bug. I'm making applications running successfully and bug free. Yes, so that, that we have to be sincere. You have to be sincere, straightforward. Yes, with your with your teammates and tell them the issue at hand. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Kanye, so much. My maybe my my last question for you is uh, I don't know. Um, 
I am from microverse. We we have done testing. We learned a lot. We used Jest. We used uh, Capybara. We used TDD. Uh, well, while uh, from the beginning, while, while working on a project, and uh, I'm a little bit curious. What do you use for your personal projects, and how did you start? focusing on testing and uh, do you really like it? Because usually uh, software developers don't like a lot this uh, <laughs> software t testing, you know? Yes, Anna? thank you very much for that question, yes. Yeah. Testing can be quite overwhelming and also like you don't feel the need to write tests for your application. So mostly how I began was there was a bug and I was creating a chat application Mm -hmm. And then I saw that whenever there are some scenarios that I didn't really think about that we're having issues, issues like whenever the user didn't type anything into the input field and it hits the send button, the message sends, gets sent to the chat button and empty message, which is not supposed to be so. So when testing an application, these are the scenarios that is going to come into place and then it's going to help us prevent this kind of scenarios in production, yes. So that was when I saw the need that, like, yes, I have to start testing, testing my application because there are some scenarios that you won't even think about. Or when it's in production, I'm going to see a user's complain about it. So I made some research. Yes, I went to Google and did some research. And I found about test about a, a life cycle that is practiced, which is test and um, test TDD. Test driven development. Yes, so I learned yeah. about test driven development. There's a practices that focus on creating test cases before the actual code is being implemented, which means write test cases yeah. free before your project or software has been fully, fully, I don't initially started at all. So you use the test cases to train and also to, you know, to give it a criteria and standards for your application. And I also search about the best test driven development framework for a JavaScript application, a React application, a Next application. And I saw that the most popular test driven development for those applications are JSJS. Then I learned, I went to the documentation of JSJS and then I read about it. I also watched some tutorial videos about JS. And also I saw that it was very simple. Easy to use, easy to start. It was not quite complex. It was just, yes, it was only a framework on its own. You don't need any third party framework to help you out. Yes, so that's how I discovered about JSJS because I wanted to implement test driven development on my software. Mm -hmm. Then I found out that as I was learning more about testing, I saw that there are different test cases, different type of test cases. We have the units, we have the integration, and we have the endpoint. And then I found out that JS, JS is quite limited on end-to-end -end tests because as you know, end-to-end -end tests is testing real-life scenarios. They are automating your browser and stimulating real-life scenarios from start to finish of your entire application. So then I found out that JS, JS is quite limited and then there are some better testing tools to run your end-to-end -end tests. So that's when I discovered about Cypress and Serenium. Well, Cypress is quite simple, quite easy to get started. So that's how I learned about Cypress. And also that I'm so happy that here at Rubik, those are the two testing frameworks we are using for application. We use JS for unit test and integration test, and then we use Cypress for to test our end-to-end -end test for application. Yes, that's it. Amazing. So you like testing, not like me. Because it, it gives my confidence on the application. Yes. Yeah, great, great. Well, what I enjoyed most is TDD because, uh, yeah, you know, you start with this and uh, you don't have this headache at the end of the project. So, um, okay, if you don't, we don't have any other questions from the audience, I guess uh, that we are coming to an end. What are, yeah, yeah, we have. What are some common challenges? faced in testing and uh, how you overcome them from uh, it's a question from Lelaisha Al-Fadel. Okay one of the common challenges that I personally have faced is my approach to testing. Yes most time we don't really know how to approach our testing. We don't really know about the scenarios the scenarios of the test cases 
for application. So one of the ways that I did it and also did it also helped me is that we come up with a plan. Because you actually have to plan out how you want to test your application. You have to plan out your the, the quality standards of the application and also the criteria for the application to meet those standards that you put in place. So those are the things that will push you. Because now you're going to know if your application is up to a standard and testing helps you to determine whether your application is up to the standards you set in your in your planning. So those are the ways in which you can go about testing, right? Take your time out, think, think carefully about the standards that you love, the standard and requirements that you want your application to meet. Then start writing your test cases for it. And then at the end of the day, you're going to see that, yes, you can do it and you're actually you're, you're actually testing your software and it's also going to be your software is going to be improved massively yes yeah, so that's how i go about it i plan and i then i i, I plan first then i began testing okay so the secret is planning yes yes thank you kindness so we're coming to an end but before uh, saying goodbye we would uh, like to uh told you that we have uh, another workshop this thursday if you are interested about gaming stay tuned we were we will share all the informations uh, here on linkedin and uh, we also have a very important event this friday to showcase our pro uh, product so you are all invited uh so stay tuned and uh yeah uh, would, we, do you have anything else to say, Kamen? Sorry, I forgot to ask you. Okay, well, thank you guys for the time and also the amazing opportunity for me to talk about software testing to you guys. And I also hope you guys practice testing the application. Yes, yeah? that's all I would love to say to my to my audience. Thank you guys. And also thanks, Dubix, for the opportunity. Yeah, yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thanks uh, to you and to uh, our amazing speakers. Thanks to the audience. And uh, see you in uh, another workshop. Goodbye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye.